Ladies and gentlemen, today is one of the greatest days in the history of chess. The Mittens Chess Bot has returned to chess.com. It's currently December of 2023, which is crazy because it really feels like just yesterday it was January and we were all suffering under the cat bots that chess.com put up. Mittens was an international sensation and for December, chess.com brought back their best of 2023 series, which was a bold move because they should have done Santa bots, like they should have done Christmas bots, holiday bots, you know, but instead of that, it, no problem. We'll take mittens. And in this video, I'm going to play mittens once again because farming this idiot ginger cat for content is the only thing that I can do. And then, if you enjoy, I will make it play against Stockfish again, I'll make it play against Torch, it's gonna be a, a great month. Mittens is back, thank the chess gods, more content for me, more content for you, let's jump into it, here we go. Oh my goodness, very exciting. Oh, also, if you are going to the fan event in Toronto on December 7th, look out for an email. We had to change the venue, it's gonna be nearby, it's like five minutes away from the original venue, um, because too many people signed up. So too many of you want to attend this event, and so we had to get a bigger venue. You'll just check your email, all right? If you're, if you're not going, then none of this is important to you. All right, Mittens, my old nemesis. Never, you, wait, I get, oh, okay. Meow, I like chess, hee hee hee. I exist at this chess board through all times and realities. Amazing, they had 12 months to come up with different voice lines and they came up with nothing. Um, I'm going to play D5. The Queen's Gambit from Mittens. I foresee everything around you deteriorating. I'm going to play the Queen's Gambit Declined, which is a very solid opening. And now I think I'm going to play... Why is it trembling? Trembles, he he he. Okay, I'm gonna play a6. Idea to take. All right, so the idea of a6 is to take this pawn and then defend with b5 very quickly. White now takes you to basically say, well, now this move is obsolete. But then I say, you're obsolete, you idiot cat. Don't talk to me like you know me, right? That's pretty normal. Uh, and now, you know, you can just develop. I like to play c6 and then develop my bishop. It pins me. I don't care. I play c6 so that after takes, takes, my pawn is not unguarded anymore. And now, I think there's a handful of ways to play this position. Personally, I like to counteract the, uh, the pin. I think that's, uh, that's solid. Uh, and then... <clears throat> You can play bishop e6 or you can castle. I don't really think there's a huge difference. You're gonna have to play these moves regardless. The bishop will go here, and the knight will go behind the bishop because these are all the you know squares for your pieces. Now white is considering an e4 break. Uh, white is also considering and has now played the knight to the center. It's a very common move. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna go here. I doubt mittens takes. Oh. I have seen many whimper in the darkness. <laughs> well, taking with the pawn is really bad because I would be opening my king even though I am attacking the knight. Uh, I'll take like this. I guess Mittens is trying to play f4, get this powerful attacking setup against me. <laughs> yay, I predicted the move of the 3500 level bot. Woohoo, yeah. <laughs> uh, so now white has potential attacking possibilities. It's okay to trade off your dark squared bishop if you will then replace a lot of your structure with dark squared pawns, which actually white is very, very close to doing. Um, the position is still pretty balanced because the move f5, for example, just pushes my bishop back. Although now the move knight d7 is no longer possible because this is trapping my bishop. Like if this, I just go back, right? But white has possible attacking chances here. I don't want to take just yet. I think that's kind of an overcommitment, but I don't really know what to do. And I feel like if I was playing a game, I, I would need to, uh, you know, I'd need to act. Queen d6, queen b6, knight d7, rook e8, all possibilities. Can I undermine the center and then, like, maybe take? I mean, this move doesn't look ridiculous, but I'm not trying to get into a tactical battle against the bot. So maybe I play queen d6 and then c5. I doubt mittens continues like, yeah, so, okay, wow, it, it, it's, oh... Oh. Oh, it wants... Oh dear. Oh dear. 
Oh my. It wants this, and then it wants to mate me. <coughs> uh, that's bad. Is it bad? What if I just go rookie 8? Like, who cares? I'm not afraid, you, you idiot. You don't scare me. <laughs> it did it anyway, oh god. Check here, check here. Where's the mate? There is no mate. There is no mate. I'm just gonna go C5. There's no mate. I'm not afraid of you. Stupid. Oh god, oh boy. So, what? But now your queen's stuck. I don't... I don't understand. I don't get it. I just, if take, then... Okay. I mean, I'm, I think I'm going to go to C8. Because I think I want to put my knight on D7. I think I'm going to go to C8, and w there's no attack. What? Mittens can't do anything. <laughs> oh, it's... It, it just goes... It just, it just goes here. That's, it's, that's, all, that's all. Okay. And then if I take... I mean, it's not going to take with a rook, because then it loses the knight. It's going to take with a pawn. So I'm chilling. Oh, I'm not chilling because it's going to put his rook on this fight. Maybe I got to... Do I have to make a run for it? <laughs> if I take, take, it opens up this, which is really bad. And it's about to put its rook there and hunt... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But what if I make a run for it first? Oh, that's also really bad because then after this, King D8, there's this. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm, I'm cooked. I'm cooked, I think. What if I play Knight C6, Rook E1... 97 with the idea of queen h8 knight g oh oh i'm g oh look at that oh i'm gonna safeguard myself i'm gonna just what is that what it's trying to open up the e-file check i can still can't i just can't i make a run for it now i'm gonna run i am i gonna am i gonna run <laughs> maybe i won't run um Bishop d7? I still don't exactly see how I'm getting mated, by the way. Oh, oh, I just missed. That's a key detail. And now the knight can take, which will prevent me from escaping. Okay, well, then I have to do this, and I guess I just got to run, right? It's going to take my pawn. Oh! <laughs> it stopped me from escaping, and now when I go... 97 to defend myself. Now it's gonna take this pawn and force my king that way. Ha ha ha! Amazing. We love. We love it. We, it's good. Oh boy. Oh boy. The rook lift could have played either of those moves. Actually, it just brings the rook. Excellent. Justifying its entire plan. By the way, really impressive. I don't know how this got so bad for me. I mean, I might have to analyze it afterward. Um. Okay, now I just lose. It can, it's probably gonna like sack or it can just take. Yeah, it could just take and that's mate. That is just mate. That is just straight up. I just I just got obliterated. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, it looks like you won. He he he. Idiot. Stop talking. All right. How did that get so bad? I mean, I played just a completely normal opening. This move must have just been really wow. Wow. And how, how does this stop this plan? G6? I thought about playing G6. I didn't play G6 because I thought that it would sacrifice. Like, I just thought that's not... Or, or F5, I thought. And then, you know, it opens up my king. I thought this looked too scary. Stockfish is not convinced. But I just thought that looked too scary. And then once I allowed this, I am, I am cooked. I should have went to D7 too, apparently, which is... Uh, that's tough to see. The computer wants this so I can defend my pawn because it sees this plan by white to just, like, play rook d1 and... Okay, well, you know what? Mittens is not gonna, you know... <coughs> I'm gonna play it with white. Um, I'm gonna play it with white. And it, you know... Can I play it friendly mode? I wanna play it on friendly mode. Let's play in English. I'm gonna play an English opening. Play in English. Okay, it's gonna be a nice and long game. Knight f3. Okay, play for the center, both knights. I feel empty, hardly here at all, and yet I am here forever. I'll forever be awake. That's terrifying. Let's play g3 and put the bishop on g2, it's very common. The power of my waves will never be broken. Yep, you impose orders as you think of them. I've already seen them. <laughs> I think that is a new voice line. It doesn't have a voice line. They should put a voice though, because that would be terrifying. So now there's a there's a way to play this position with d4, which it, which I think is very principled. 
Yeah, and then after it takes, white can actually take with the queen walking into this attack. But your argument is that the knight blocks the bishop and the queen is able to just rotate somewhere. Um, black probably wants to play d5. I can probably play bishop g5 or I can play rook d1. I'm going to play rook d1 and delay the development of this bishop. Okay, black plays that move, which is very normal. I think I'm going to go b3, be rock solid, maybe put the bishop on the diagonal. And now the question is, do I put it there or there? I mean, that move, just knight c5. No, no, no. knight c5 probably. Um, and then I don't really see what my plan after that is. So let me be patient. I really, I have a great position. This is the best position I've probably ever had against mittens. I'm now just fully developed. I've got all my pieces in the center, right? And so what if now I just play king h1, king g1? Like I just straight up don't do anything. Can I, can I get a draw against mittens? I really just want to play king h1, king g1, but I feel like maybe I shouldn't. What if I play like rook c2? I just don't do anything. I'm just going to do nothing. Is it going to... Oh, and it's attacking me right away. <laughs> History is just a series of freakishly impossible, improbable events. You will become one of them soon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Queen e3 or queen d2? I kind of like this move. I don't see... <clears throat> wow, it's just, it's, just, it's just immediately attacking me. Like, right, it has no remorse. I played one move. I played one move that did not have an idea, and right away it's taking over the initiative. So it activates its queen. The queen is attacking my rook. It has a possibility to play knight g4. I kind of want to retreat here. Rook d2, I think I'm getting my queen trapped, <coughs> which, you know, I'm a bad player, but I'm not that bad of a player. Maybe I just go queen c1. Then is it going to go? No, no. It's, it's definitely not going to go here because that gives me that. And if it goes there, okay, knight e4. So what? What, do you think I'm afraid of you? I am, but you don't have to know that. Should I go here and stop stuff from happening? Oh, God, it's so ugly to have to play that move. Okay, it takes. So what? Fair trade. Fair trade. And, okay, why does that scare me? I'm just not going to let you get my bishop. Like, my position is, yeah, yeah, th this is the, this right here, this is the sign of a bot that doesn't know what it's doing. I am officially cooking this bozo. All right? This thing does not know what it, this thing is not going to know what hit it. Maybe I should play queen b1. I got knight h4, but then it's going to take and open, open up my, I, I, I don't like that. I was thinking to trade knights. Should I trade knights with it? What if I, what if I do? What, what do you, what do you, what do you, uh-oh, wait, is there bishop to g5? Okay, it goes knight g5, it goes knight g5. Now, this is good, this is good. I'm not afraid, oh, oh, um, <laughs> unless that was designed against my plan, in which case, did I just like completely walk into Mitten's plan, is that? F4 looks interesting. I think my last move might have been a mistake. Oh, it really might have been a mistake because now it's got stuff like this. Oh, I really don't want to go here, but I'm going to, and I'm going to try to get it out of my position with E4. Okay, why is that scary, King H1? What am I missing? King h1. So what? But, but I don't see the attack. I will soon climb to physical existence. What? Oh, because it's a bot. Oh, yeah, that's scary. Yep. e4? All right, so I'm blocking out this bishop. I mean, I, it looks like I'm doing something smart. <clears throat> yeah, like sometimes it plays these moves and I'm like, I, it doesn't know what it's doing. I don't care if it's a bot. It's stupid. What about this move? Knight b1. Look at this. I'm trading. So? Who cares about that move? Queen e1. What do you, you, you're, you're nothing. What, so you can't go here. I take the knight. Okay, f5. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. But can't I just play like knight c3? Take, knight takes, bishop takes, queen takes maybe. Knight c3. And now I'm, I'm, I'm going to put my knight on d5. Wait a minute. I, I, I might be... I might be in completely good shape. I just gotta get this rook out of here, but th this is this is really strong. What about bishop c1? Looking for a little exchange aroni. I don't even say the. What am I even. Sp I'm so shocked by this. How about bishop a3? No, it's protected. That's stupid. Bishop c1 trading the, the bad bishop for the good bishop? Ooh, I'm making it make commitments. That's. 
That's good in relationships. It's bad if you're mittens. G4 maybe. Lock the, lock the, lock the door. G4 lock the door. Oh man, that's, that, is, that is a big decision though. I can also take and maybe try to trade the queens. This is tough, guys. But this is... This could be the game. This could be the game where I go from a boy into a man. G4? Oh, this is so tough. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna lock the door against mittens. It doesn't know what it's doing. It's just shuffling. That move literally does nothing. That move does nothing. Because it can't even go D5. This could be, this could be my moment. This could be my moment. I gotta shine. Queen E2. Look for a trade. Maybe zig the bishop back here. Queen E2. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. What's the idea? There is no idea of this move. I, it, it, there's no idea. There's no idea. I'm just gonna go here and here. There's no idea behind queen h4. See? It's just moving around. It's just going back. Oh my god. The missed contours of the board are very... Oh, the, uh, oh guys, guys, th th this is actually crazy. I want everybody to, 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 to stop for a moment and appreciate greatness. You are witnessing a man who on his own may not lose to mittens. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. If takes, then takes. The big question, my bishop is really bad and that knight is really good, but is it worth committing to that right now? Take, take, queen g2. It might be because I don't know what this bishop is ever going to do to me. If I take and play queen g2, takes. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, and I'm trading. If I can get a couple pieces off the board, I won't lose. Now, it's going to go here. It's going to want to it's going to want to keep pieces on the board. Rook g1, it's going to go queen g6, right? Maybe I turn my attention to this pawn. Rook d2. That's a big weakness. I control the squares in front of that pawn. That pawn is a major weakness. Now the queen's going to try to get out. Now do I bring the bishop there or around that way? Oh, that's a, that is a tough question. I'm going to keep the bishop locked on that h4 square and double up the rooks. I'm going to double up the rooks. Where's the bishop going? Where's, wh wh where's Mitten's bishop going? Where's that light-squared bishop going? This, this is crazy. Can I walk my king to the other side of the board? Can I do that? Do I have the unmitigated gall for such a... If I play king g1. What if I just get my, start getting my king out of there real quick? What if, I, what if we repeat moves? Will it repeat moves with me? Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my... Oh! No! Oh, I'm gonna get a draw against Mittens! I'm gonna get a draw against Mittens! Whoa! This is the best day of my life. This is the. Don't do Mittens! Yo! Can we game review this real quick? Oh my god. Oh my god. I just played on even term, uh, terms with the cat. G game review, come on, hurry up, hurry up. I have, it, I have it set on the maximum depth. That's why it's taking a long time. So I'm just gonna entertain you by talking really fast. I got 91%. I got 91% accuracy. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna minimize this window. I'm gonna mi minimize, maximize, whatever. I can't speak right now. I just drew mittens. I outplayed mittens. <laughs> oh my goodness. The English opening is goaded. If you need to make a boring draw against the cat with an elo of one, you gotta play the English. And yeah, the, 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 I mean, I just played like a really solid game. And then, you know, this was fine. And then, and then mittens took over and I just played solid. And, you know, it tried to instigate with me. Here I made probably my biggest mistake of the game, which was this. No, it wasn't even that bad. Wow. And then I played F3. This was... Okay, Mittens made an inaccuracy. And right around here, I was like, how is Mittens going to beat me? Like, it's probably going to play F5 and try to open up the position. But then this... I think this was really clutch, by the way. Yeah, look at this. Top engine move. Rerouting the knight because I really... I, I know the knight would be really, really nice... On those, on those squares. And my knight doesn't have a future here. So I, I rerouted backwards. 
and okay, this was a mistake. Yeah, but you know, you see the stockfish wants me to take. I I I could never I feel like as a human that's really tough to allow black to get two open pieces at the same time. But I played knight c3. And then yeah, and then I mean I just okay, yeah, this was a mistake, but I don't really understand why it was such a big mistake. And then finally I was like, I did this and I had a qu like I, I wondered if I could play h4. Sack the pawn and just play like this, but why can't I do that? Because, oh, okay, apparently I can. Computer thinks I have a big advantage after h3. Wait, rook d2, bishop f2, and at the end, I'm just better. Wow, I'm like slightly better. It's like 0 0.4, 0 0.3, but uh, I'll take the draw. It's like drawing like Magnus. I mean, that is insane. Oh my god. Yeah, and it's giving me inaccuracies for repeating the position, which, again, like... But that's nuts. I completely neutralized it. It couldn't move its light squared bishop at all. I traded my light squared bishop and put all these pawns on light squares. It had a backwards pawn, which is a pawn whose neighbors have advanced beyond it. And it's kind of stuck. And, it, you know, it, I'm controlling the square in front of it five times. But <clears throat> I do wonder, how do you pursue the advantage here after something like bishop to g5? a4, interesting. And then rook d3... No, it's not so clear. I mean, I, it looks like you have to achieve this move. It looks like the computer basically needs to play h4, and then bishop h4 is not possible because of rook d6. So I just completely dominate on the light squares. I prevent all of black's pawn play, and then I, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I want to end the video here. I, You know, I really, I'm just going to say, I think... I think I... Or, or should I play one more time? Should I play one more time? Ah, all right, let's see how quickly I can lose against it. <laughs> I want to end on a good note, but let, let, let's just see. What if I play really aggressively? I'm going to play e4. <laughs> I drew mittens. That's so crazy. I'm going to play the c3 Sicilian. Let's see. d4. This is all theory. Uh, bishop c4 here is a line, but I'm just going to play this. I'm going to play cd and, and knight c3. It's a very, very solid, boring system. Um, I've never seen de. I don't think that's a move. Uh, bishop c4, just developing. Knight takes, pawn takes is nothing scary. Castle. Maybe there's like bishop b5. Let me play knight c3. If takes, then takes. I guess there's like a line where... They could take my knight and then give me this bad pawn. Okay, that's exactly what it's doing. <clears throat> yeah, but even here, I can't I like go in an attack? <laughs> I'm just gonna this is just gonna turn into a video where I beat mittens every single time I play against it, you know? That's what it's just gonna be. Queen G4, Queen H5. This this looks better. Let's go. I mean, we're confident, right? Like, let's do it. What are you gonna do, you stupid cat? You stupid cat. What are you gonna do? Huh? How you doing? Bishop b3, bishop d3. If bishop d3 would, it's going to play g6, and then when I play queen e2, and then it's going to take... It's not going to take my pawn. It's not going to take my pawn. It's not going to take my pawn, because if it takes my pawn, it gets mated. It's going to play... Yeah, and now I got to play a move like this. It's not going to go here. There's no way. That's too dangerous. See, it knows. It knows what's good for it. I can play c4. I'm, I'm suddenly, like, full of confidence. Like, this bot can't touch me. We're not the same species, all right? This is a cat, and I got that dog in me, all right? That's what we're doing. I don't know why I'm turning into an Italian, but that's what we're doing. C4? Kind of want to just give the pawn away, but I don't feel that brave just yet. It's going to go bishop here or there. That's fine. Bishop h6, bishop f4. I, I mean, I like overprotecting the center pawn, but yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't. I can't be calling the shots in this position. Because I have such a big pawn weakness. But I think I should, you know, attack. That's, that's going to be the way that I maybe bring the bishop back to b1 or 2e4. 2e4 or 2e1. Let's go to e4. Mittens is going to double. Ah, that's annoying. That is annoying. How do I get in? Can I play like h4, h5? I really don't want to go back. It's such an ugly move. I'll do it. And if it goes here, I'll go back to e4. We'll make another draw. Watch. I'm going to make another draw. It's I think it's going to go here. <clears throat> and then I can't really protect my pawn, huh? 
maybe rook d1, bishop c4, bishop c4, take, take, take. Ay, ay, ay. If this, there's this move, I think, which is a problem. Is it going to go rook d4? Then I can't protect my pawn. What the f... What? What about rook c3? You're just going to go back to... <laughs> I don't... I don't understand, but okay. I mean, I don't know why you would give me the dark square. Can't I play bishop g5 now? What was the point of this? What, bishop... What, I don't... So? But what about the rook? Is he going to go back? Oh, 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 it just doesn't matter. That's... I'm just a complete moron, is what it is. And uh, now I got to solve this problem. Oh, and I got to solve that problem now too, which I just created for myself. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You know, I don't, I'm not even mad about ending it on a bad note, because I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I mean, seriously, I can't believe I drew it on equal ground. That was awesome. I'm like Hikaru, basically. I'm just going to go here and let the game, and, and, and let the game end. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bulldozing me. It's not, it's not going to give me another opportunity like it. Wait a, wait a minute, I'm not losing the rook. <laughs> what? 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 Huh? What? Why did it lose its queen? What? What? Oh wow, there's no mate. Look at that. The bishop is going to get Oh my goodness. What? And is there like bishop d3? What is... But I can defend, right? I'm not... I'm not losing. Am I losing? It's just gonna win an endgame against me? I'm so... What is going on? Why did it give up its queen? That was so unnecessary. Oh! If I go to mate it, it's gonna go here. If I play g3, it has check. No, but no, but I'm escaping, right? g3, check, king h3, rook here. Oh, it's gonna change the move order. It's gonna, oh, it's gonna play h5 and I'm not gonna be able to get out. Oh, it's gonna check me. Oh, that's brutal. Can I stop that? If g4, I just get laddered. I'm just gonna get laddered. Good old fashioned ladder mate. Let's, let's, let's let it demonstrate. <laughs> <laughs> the queen is gonna... Oh, no. The queen stops my escape! Oh, this move is even more brutal. If I play queen f3 attacking the rook, it's discovered check on my... It's discovered attack on my queen. If I play queen g4, it's check, and my queen stops my king's... Oh, that's, that's nice. All right, you win. You win. You win. That was impressive. That was impressive. My friends, Mittens is back, but your boy got a draw. Oh, my day is made. I, my day is made. My week is made. I'm going to bring Stockfish. I'm going to bring Torch. I'm going to play. I'm going to put all oh my. That, I, mittens versus Mittens. Here we go. It's going to be a great month. Welcome back. Play the bot. See y'all in Toronto. Venue change. Check your emails. That's all I got for you. Get out of here.